So hi everyone, we have the amazing Aaron Smith here who is the author of the new book, Define Yourself. And I love even the subtitle when it talks about when passion, purpose and business collide. So it's much more than just the book about KX Pilates and we're going to hear a little bit about what's in the book and what Aaron's got to um, share with um, everyone inside of his book. So thanks for being with us um, today, Aaron. Thank you, Susan. We're excited to launch this book and I know that there's so much more. You know, I'm a lover of Pilates and um, I love a backstory around, you know, your business has been your franchise has been so successful it's um you've got what over 110 stores now yeah. in how many countries six six countries and growing. and growing so that's amazing and in how many years when did you kind of have 13 years we started in 2010. wow yeah. that's that's an amazing effort and we love that you've shared the backstory um around kx and pilates but there's so much more in there. But before we kind of cover what's in the book, can you tell the listeners, you know, very briefly, where did like the Pilates kind of come from? Because I heard that it's like a, it was like more of a rehab at one stage. Yeah, yeah. so um, Joseph Pilates started Pilates um, in the early 1900s, uh, basically rehabbing injured soldiers from, from World War I. So that's where Pilates began. Um, let's fast forward, uh, you know, probably a hundred years and, um, Pilates is really used to, for re rehabilitation purposes. So especially in Australia, physiotherapy clinics really bolted on Pilates, uh, little Pilates studios to, um, really continue on, uh, the transformation of their clients through injury, uh, and, uh, and rehabilitation. And then from that, uh, dynamic Pilates was born where we, we've, we've grabbed the reformer machine. Uh, and made it into a fitness class. So that's where KX basically started um, and Dynamic Pilates has come from. Yeah. Fantastic. And I believe that you're an avid traveler. I am. And that's a big part of your life. Huge. And I think without that traveling, you may not have ever come across Pilates yeah. and started to build this beautiful KX Pilates that we can all enjoy. Tell me a bit about your traveling and, and kind of, um, I suppose, how you got into it. I think you said you applied for a job or something. Yeah, so I, um, I well, how far do we go back? I always wanted to start a business. I had no idea what I wanted to do. Um, fitness changed my life as a, as a late teen. Um, I was overweight. Uh, I had a knee reconstruction at 17. I blew out to 104 kilos. Um, so, uh, Basically, enough was enough. I researched everything to do with nutrition, um, health, fitness. Uh, dropped down to you know mid 80s, very ripped, and that changed my life. So the confidence came. Everything came from it. So in university, I changed all my subjects to the fitness side of things, and um, exercise physiology was my major. Uh, and I just started traveling. Um, travel for me was freedom. Uh, you know, I grew up in a in quite a pretentious world in, in Melbourne. I just wanted to escape and be my own person, and travel enabled me to do that. Uh, taught me many lessons along the way. So I was in uh, America for two years in the in the ski resorts of Colorado in Vail and Beaver Creek, where I was a personal trainer and snowshoe instructor, um, training the wealthy over there. And then from there I went to London. Um, I knew that personal training was something I didn't want to bring back. It was a very saturated market in Australia. Uh, so I was kind of on the lookout for the next thing. And Dynamic Pilates, we were the first studio in London that came from LA. Uh, and I, I, the first day I walked into the studio, an Aussie guy greeted me at the door, the head trainer, and we got along really well. And uh, he trained me up and later to know he was about to become our competition. Uh, and then three years later, when I was head trainer of that initial studio, we had 15 studios under five different brands in London. And they were all under Dynamic Pilates. And they were all our trainers that uh, went out and opened their own studio. So that's when I knew that uh, it was time for me to come back and open KX Pilates, my brand in Australia. And kind of the rest is history. Wow. And um, they'll have to read the book because I know that you love traveling and you're avid skier snowboarder we both both, yeah, yeah, both. Yeah. and i know that there's a little story in there i know that um would get the heart pumping where you yes. kind of got lost in the snow and and there's a great story in there that you can read inside of the book um as well which shares a little bit about um like i said your passion for travel but also for the snow and skiing as well um 
now also um, I know that this is you know there's so much contained inside this book around not just you know the the journey of of KX Pilates but the journey of business and entrepreneurship and I know that growing up as you said you went back to uni and you couldn't find what it is that you were passionate about and I think you you talk about your father was in business correct yeah um, and you wanted to get into business so there's so much more in this book um, that people can read from a business perspective as well um, why did you want to you know share so much about you know not just the KX Pilates journey and your journey but also you know the entrepreneurial mindset you know tell me a bit about that and what you want you know people to get from reading this book sure yeah so um, my passion is people my passion is fitness and my passion is business um, and uh, I had or, or, always had an entrepreneur, entrepreneurial mindset my father was in business for 45 years um, but I had no idea what I wanted to do so um, that, that's why I obviously started traveling but um, what I really wanted to give back and I mean my my personal purpose in life is to change lives to the better which is also KX Pilates um, purpose as a brand and a business uh, so this was really a chance for me to give back um, there's a lot of lessons in the book that and mistakes made that really is just to provide value and advice for people either in a startup position um, or who might have an idea but don't have the the, um, the the courage to really take that next step. So it really kind of hits every kind of avenue and that's even why I've got the travel stories in there because I think travel is one of the most important teachers and it was for me, it really pushed um, pushed me as a person, realised who I was individually and, and um, got my, me out of my comfort zone and, and I am the person I am today because uh, I travelled so much when I was younger. Um, off a bootstrap, mind you. I just like had no money whatsoever. Uh, I'll literally work and then go and spend that on travel and then come back and work. So don't don't get me wrong. There was no illustrious, you know, fast star hotels at all. It was, um, it was roughing it, that's for sure. But uh, there's so much adversity as well that you come across in travel, and that was huge for me. So even from the travel stories all the way up to the startup, um, you know, the one studios going into two, going into five, franchising the brand. I get a lot of questions about franchising as well. So I've included that in the book too, um, emerging franchisors or potentially people who want to who want to join a franchise brand, what to look out for, um, some little tips and lessons and, and, and things that, uh, that I just kind of steer people in the right direction. So there's, it's really just a wrapping everything I've learned in life, in business, um, just to provide value and inspiration back to the reader. Yeah, and I absolutely love that. And I think at the end of the day, you know, what are we getting into business for? We get into business so that we can create a lifestyle for ourselves. And so when we can learn from someone such as yourself on, you know, how to run a successful business, what there is to explore yourself and what you're looking for, to ultimately have the time to go and travel. Because that's what we love to do and, and most people love to do and have that freedom around that. So I think that you've covered a bit about you know why you wanted to write um, the book um, but is there you know people that are going to find a lot in your book like you said business passion if you don't know what you want to do finding out about Pilates finding out about franchising um, stories in there there's so much inside this book you know what would you be your core why that you wrote this book <sighs> um... Again, it's just to provide value. It's, it's, to change, it's to change the reader's lives for the better in any way, shape or form, even if it's just a little bit. Um, you know, there, there's just, there's so, I think, when people see a brand like KX that has had so much success, they just think it's been an easy road. And it's just, it's, it's really, and even one of my best mates who read the book two weeks ago just came up to me and he's been next to me for, I went to high school with him 20 years ago and he's like, I had no idea the shit that you've gone through with KX um, and I've been mates with you for that long. So it's, uh, you know, we love shouting out the, the successes of a business and we kind of don't shout out the failures or expensive lessons as I call them, um, which, you know, KX and the history of 13 years in business, there are so many expensive lessons that I've made. Um, so again, if I can if I can push that advice onto other people and those lessons so they don't make the same mistakes, they're going to be 
more advanced and more ahead than I ever was. Um, I knew nothing about business when I started KX Pilates. Uh, I had my dad as my mentor, um, and he only had one pharmacy for 45 years. So even growing multiple businesses wasn't his forte mm -hmm. either. So it's about how did I do that? How did I go out to, to find the advice, you know, joining the business groups, the entrepreneurial groups, finding mentors, business coaches, um, you know, all the things that I kind of did and, and also the mis all the things I tried, all the things that failed um, to, to basically is where I am today because of it all. So yeah, I think I answered your question somewhere. I right? did. No, you definitely did. And I love that fact because, you know, we, we see all the glory sometimes and we forget. And so that's why I think this book is, you know, for business owners as well to get in there and if you've ever thought about running your own business you're gonna get so many tips inside this book um because you know it gives you that resilience to go it's okay if i'm not where i need to be um and i don't know what career i want to take you know you take us through the journey of finding that passion and finding that business and and also you know to not give up it's not going to happen overnight you know, it's going to take years, but if you persist and you find that passion and you find that purpose and you combine it with your business, then, you know, ultimately you can have that success. So if anyone wants to buy the book, they definitely need to get on Amazon, grab your copy of the book. Um, I'm sure it's going to be at some Pilates studios. Yeah, it'll be on, on like KX Studios or on, online at uh, kxpilates.com forward slash define yourself. Perfect. So go and grab yourself a copy. There's so much in there. Thank you so much for um, allowing us to share your story um, with the world and uh, the KX Pilates story. And it's been a pleasure to publish your book. And I just can't wait for everyone to get a copy in their hands. Thank you so much.